Hey everyone, it's Morgan and today I'm going to start doing some declutters with some palettes I have. Um, I think this is going to be in a couple videos because I just don't want to do like all of them all together. So I'll do about this amount in one video. Tell you what I like. I will swatch a few colors if I like the palette. If not, I'm not going to. And um, some of these I will depan and put them in my Z palettes. Some of them will be going in the garbage because they're old or crappy. And some of them will go to my sister and some I'll keep myself because obviously I'm not giving all these away because then I won't have any and that will suck. So yeah. So let's start with this one. So this is a uh, perfusion and it's the fuchsia and my sister got me this uh, two Christmases ago or Christmas and a half ago or whatever. So this is what it looks like now. I'm definitely keeping this because she, first of all, she gave it to me. Second of all, I've only used it a few times. And third of all, it's pink. Why would I get rid of it? So, let me do this one right here. And it definitely is not the color you're seeing. You're seeing more of a gray tone. And it's more bright. But, that is what this ring light is doing. So, whatever. This almost looks the same, but it's not. You can kind of see the bright, that one. Lately, I'm into more of the mattes. Um, this one does have a few shimmers. Um, a vampy color. And then they have a, like a fuchsia color. Pinky color. And then they do have these two light ones. So, I guess I'm going to be doing the whole palette today, but whatever. So... So they are very pigmented, I think. For a $10 palette, I think it's great. Um, I definitely think you probably need a primer so it actually stays on. But I find that with a lot of, you know, eyeshadows. Um, but I think it's a really good buy. Uh, my sister did get this at Walmart. And I do have a few other ones to show you later. But um, I definitely will be keeping this. Uh, I don't think I would ever be able to depan this anyway. So if I ever got rid of it, it would be only because it was old or broke because I wouldn't be able to, you know, break this. I mean, I could, but I'd probably damage the whole thing. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't be worth it unless I was okay with damaging it all. But again, those are the pretty colors. And this was Perfusion, so I'll keep this. Next one is the Daydream palette. And if I want any of these in giveaways, I will put them in the description box, uh, what the palette was and the YouTuber I want it from. So you can check out some other awesome, um, awesome YouTubers. But, uh, this is this one. And that's what it looks like. I really like this. This is supposed to be, um, a dupe for a Huda one, I think. And it's pretty nice. Uh, do some of the shimmery ones. There's a glitter right there. And then I'll do another matte right here. So. I think glitters are nice if you like glitters. If you had a glitter um, glue or something and then put this on, it probably would last better. But they really are pigmented and very nice. And for a fraction of the cost, you can get something like this. It's pretty cool. And it's awesome mirror and everything. So I need to start using this, but I will keep this. So, And I did win this in a giveaway. And I will put her information in the description box. So... Next one is another Perfusion, and this is a Ruby palette, Ruby's palette, and uh, it is reds, because I love reds, oranges, and pinks, and purples, obviously, I'm wearing that today, but that one right here, and I'll just swatch a few, I will swatch Dazzle, I will swatch Ruby, which is a red color, and definitely you can um, build on these 
obviously one swatch is not what you're going to put. You're going to put multiple. Captivity. Those are the three that I've swatched so far. And then um, I love these two right here. So let's try them. So I have Sizzle and Rogue. Ooh, look at that Rogue color. This is definitely not giving you justice here. So, like, I think my light is just not doing it justice. Let me see if I can change it. A little bit lighter. But they're really pretty. Put down a little bit. But, um... Definitely will keep this again. Um, I wouldn't be able to decan it anyway. And uh, I have not used it that much. I probably used it like once or twice. Because then, um, you know, I didn't go out for like about two years. So, um, start playing with makeup again. This item I am going to declutter because I wish I never, I wish I never um, swatched it. But uh, I did got this in um, a boxy charm it's really cool packaging but I just don't I feel like it's a waste of space first of all these cans could be bigger for the price tag and it's just stuff I've seen I already have these in other palettes so I'm going to get rid of it but I think either my sister or one of her friends would like it so I know it goes to someone that would love it but uh, too many browns for me I don't wear these colors but again it's very you know heavy it's a heavy palette so that's my first declutter yay I know I'm decluttering this one too this one is the Milani pure passion I got this oh you can see me Ooh. Um, I got this out of TJ Maxx and um, I thought it would be like really going to be wanting to use it, but when I got it, I just wasn't feeling it anymore. And it's this. I have, oh, I still have the glitter on that finger. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Um, let's watch. I mean, they're nice. I just don't use it. I'm going to talk myself out of They're getting rid of this anyway. Those are the first ones, and then I'll do a mat, two mats. And those are the two mats right here. Okay, so if you're watching this, tell me, should I keep this or not? This is the Milani Pure Passion. If you say yes, maybe I'll decide. But I'll put this in the maybe right now, because yes, I do like these shades, but I do have them in other palettes, so. Uh, I don't know. I'm really bad at this. Probably still will declutter it though. The uh, next one is one that I just got it. I haven't swatched it yet and I'm not going to today because I don't want to ruin it. And then I just want to do first impressions, maybe a look or something. Um, but this is the Violet Foss and this is the Sun Kissed Summer. And again, this is just so beautiful. I'm really happy that this is what I got. I did pick this, so I'm happy that I like it. And it's way prettier in person, so I can't wait to use this. And this is definitely a keeper. Like I would get rid of a Violet Foss. This is my second one. Come on. I don't think so. Next item is this. This is Ace Beauté, and this is the Scarlet Dust palette. I am not getting rid of this. If you don't see the colors, these are my colors. I got the reds, I got the pinks, I got the oranges, I got some pops of glimmer or sh shimmer. I love it. I love this crimson color. Again, nothing is going to come out as bright as they are because the light sucks. But it is really nice and I love orange, so. It looks burnt right here, but it's a little bit more orangey. So, I love this palette. I'm not getting rid of it. Again, Ace Beauté is a very good brand. It is a female-owned brand and um, a black female brand or whatever. I don't know. A great brand. That's what I'm trying to say. 
I am going to declutter this palette, but I will be getting these out and putting them on Z palette. I realized that I really love sugar, what is this? Not sugar pop, color pops matte shades way more than I like their glitters. So I am keeping all the mattes, but the glimmery, shimmery ones are going. They're just not, they don't do it for me, but uh, this is a really old palette. I got this from, actually, I think I bought this one, but I bought it a lot of years ago, like I would say four or five. So clearly, like, I'm not using it anymore, but I do want to save the mattes for a Z palette, so I'm keeping some of it. Do anything else? Okay, I'll do a couple more. I have this Tarte palette, and I'm not getting rid of it, even though the shades in here are not my style. Um, it still smells good, so I'm going to keep it. But it does have a lot of browns and stuff like that. If I ever do my eyebrows, you know, I have some shades there. It just, I think this is a great uh, face palette and I could use it as eyeshadows as I want. And if I do, I don't have to use any other browns. These would be perfect for that. So I think that's all I'm gonna show you today and um, we will see if I get rid of anything else. But so far, I'm only getting rid of the dogs. <laughs> I'm getting rid of this one and I decided that I'm also gonna get rid of this. I'm not gonna keep it. And I'll get rid of half of the ColourPop palette, so. It's two and a half, right? Does that count as two and a half? So, yeah. And at the end of this, I will show you the declutter ones in a picture or at the, a video, but just saying that I decluttered them. So yeah, we're gonna go eat some food and I am going to do some more videos later. So have a good day and bye.